Okay, so now we're going to create the back view of this jacket. We're not going to draw it again because that would be really time consuming. The idea is to use the jacket, the front jacket, and to amend it to get the back view. And again, I said we have to remember that this garment is flat. Even though the photograph is on the body, we need to consider our flat drawing as looking at it from a bird's eye view. So I'm going to get my toolbar here. I'm going to use my black arrow tool. I'm just going to close my symbols down. Close this down for a minute. And I just want my tool showing. Okay. No. Oh. Okay, that's better. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is get your black arrow tool select the body and all the stitching and we're going to hold our alt key we're going to hover over the center till we see the two-way arrow and we're going to click and drag so letting go we will have a duplicate of the um, front of the jacket i'm going to move that over a little bit okay so let's move this so we can see the back part. Now, basically what we need to do is delete some of these, um, these panels and stuff. So what we're gonna do is we are going to get rid, I'm gonna go a bit closer. Obviously the back of the jacket doesn't need these lapels. So we're gonna get our black arrow tool, we're gonna click on the lapel and I'm just gonna press delete. And I'm going to work my way through, deleting all the parts that I don't need. So that's the lapel as well, and the stitching. I'm going to leave this collar here for the moment. I'm going to get rid of this back panel, because we don't need that anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the epaulets, holding my shift key to select the both of them. And I'm going to right click, and I'm going to send these to the back, because from the back of the jacket, because most of the epaulette is visible on the front, you won't see it as much on the back. So I'm going to send that to the back. And we're going to get our black arrow tool again. We're going to delete our tab. And we are going to delete our back neck collar. So we deleted that. Now, we've deleted that for a reason, because it's not going to curve upwards, it is going to curve down. But we need to keep this angle here, so we get the depth of our collar at the back correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my white arrow tool, I'm going to click on this line here, exactly on that line, until I see my anchor points turn up. And I'm going to press delete, and I'm just going to work my way through this. Being really careful, getting rid of the stitching completely, and I'm going to click here again, and I'm just getting rid of all the lines until I'm left with this angle here, and I'm going to do the same to the back, white arrow tool, delete, click off, click again off, click back onto that line, click off again, click back on, click off it, click back on until I've got that line left. I'm going to get rid of my stitching. And what I'm going to do is just make sure that there's no stray points in this area. I'm going to go select objects, stray points. And you can see I've got a few stray points here. So I'm just going to press delete and they should all disappear. Now I've got my two lines here. I need to just correct this part here before I do anything else. Now we don't want the crossover anymore because remember that is the front of the jacket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my black arrow tool and I want you to watch exactly the points that I'm selecting. So I need to basically get rid of this line and I need to get rid of this line. But I don't want to lose my shoulders. So I need to select this area here. Don't mind if you go a bit further down as long as you don't go past the hem but it needs to be in this area. So as soon as I do that, if I go close up, you can see the points that have been selected. These points here are white, and that means that they haven't been selected. But if I go further down, you can see that these ones are still red. And so that means that they have been selected. And if I press delete now, 
you will see that it gets rid of those lines altogether. And that's what I want to do there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join back my shape because it needs to be a full shape, remember, for colouring in purposes. So I'm going to go to my pen tool, I'm going to select my basic pen. I'm going to hover over this point. So as I hover over that open point, you will see that my cursor now changes from an asterisk to a minus sign. So I'm just going to draw in my shape here. I don't need to worry too much about this being curved because once I draw my collar, you won't be able to see it. So what I'm going to do now again, get my pen tool and I'm going to redraw my collar in. So I'm going to hover over that last line till it turns to a minus. As soon as I click on it, you know it's joining that because it's now turned to red. I'm going to click to the other side. As I said, this slightly goes in a bit but not much, just a little dip. Most of the time it's more straight. And then I'm going to get my pen tool and I'm going to join the bottom end of this collar. So I'm going to click on here, see, wait for it to change to the minus, and there we go. And I'm going to join it to this line here. I'm gonna give it a bit of a shape, but not much. And let's make sure that our curve is distributed nicely. So there we've got our back of our collar completed. The only thing we have left to do, and that is this hem section. So when we deleted the crossover, if I get my white black arrow tool, you'll be able to see this clearly. I've got a few points there, I've got two, and they're not actually joined. So what I need to do is click off. I'm going to get my white arrow tool. I'm just gonna show you actually, let's go back again. I need to basically get these points to join. So what I'm going to do is I'll get my white arrow tool and I'm just going to select those points and as soon as I do that, as I said before, these corners, these points are white, the ones that are selected are red and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that these two lines get in the center and so if I right click and I go to average and I go both, straight away it finds the immediate center, the immediate midpoint between those two points that were originally there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do right click and I'm going to join. And so now when I click on this shape, it is... So we've got our front and our back, seemed a little bit too much there. And we're now going to be ready. Let's fix our stitching actually, just to make sure that's in the right place. Move our stitching over. And we're gonna add some stitching at the hem here. Again, if you draw your straight line, if you get your eyedropper tool, you can click on to the stitching to make sure it's the same. And so now we've got our back and our front. Let's just add our stitching onto our collar. So I'm going to add it onto that line there. Again, I'm going to go to this eyedropper tool and click on that line. And what I want to make sure though, before I do anything as well, is that this collar is to the front. So I'm going to get my black arrow tool, select the collar, and I'm going to hold the shift key at the same time. That's the shift key. Select the stitching and I'm going to do right click, arrange, bring to the front, just to make sure that it's at the front. So what I can do with my back now is I can color this in to make it black and white, and then I can finish off my front. So I'm gonna get my black arrow tool, I'm going to select my collar, I'm going to select my epaulets, I'm going to select my sleeve, and this is by holding the shift key, it allows you to select things in multiples. So that's holding the shift key at the same time, selecting on the body. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I just want to fill those shapes. If I was to get the black arrow tool and select everything, and then go to my fill, it would also fill my stitching. And stitching never has a fill. So let me just double click on here. I'm going to select my white and go OK. And so straight away you can see 
that I need to put my back my sleeve to the back so I'm going to do click on it you can see here the armhole's not right but this armhole's correct so I'm going to click on here right click arrange send to the back okay and so I can just adjust anything that I don't feel is right at the moment I'm just going to move that over and to finish this off as a nice um, sketch I'm going to get my pencil tool select my pencil tool, I'm going to take my fill off and just have the stroke and I'm going to change my stroke weight to be 0.5 or 0.25 and I'm just going to draw in a little bit of a star line here just to add a bit more dimension okay and so they don't have to be the same, they can be different so I'm just going to leave it as such and so there we have it. That's the back done. Please return back to see um, the last part, which is to finish off the front with all the zips and trims.